views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. to the Angels and Answers Psychic Radio Show with clairvoyance Artie Hoffman and Sky Siegel. Artie is renowned psychic, medium, spiritual life coach and entertaining motivational speaker. Sky's given talent of inner guidance gives her the ability to interpret feelings and images impressed upon her by the spirit world. Call now for answers from your guardian angels and loved ones at 800-930-2819. And now here are your hosts, Artie and Sky. Hi, everybody, and welcome to another beautiful Thursday with Angels and Ants. And Mercury Retrograde. Oh, shut up, Audie. He had to bring that up, right? <laughs> well, anyway, welcome to Angels and Answers with... Mercury Retrograde. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur Hoffman and a Sky Sia. Sky Sia. Seagull. <laughs> shut up! <laughs> I, excuse him, folks. <laughs> And Mercury oh retrograde. Yeah, it's been kicking my oh, ass this don't, week, big time. Don't even go there. today. Anything that could go wrong. Oh, shoot. God, I want you to know, folks, today for me was the piece de resistance of Mercury retrograde. I get up. I look at my husband's face. He looks like a <laughs> there's, Mercury, there's, there there's Mercury, I, Mercury retrograde right there. I didn't, even, I didn't even open my second eye, and he had a puss on. All right. Then I go over to my computer. I get to work, I go to my computer, and my computer is malfunctioning, totally malfunctioning. Then I get the computer to work and find out the program for the business is malfunctioning. Then we go to the studio, and all the equipment is malfunctioning. And then we try and get connected again, and then we're all set up to go, and we are malfunctioning once again. Are you so, you had, so you had a malfunctioning kind of day. I just want to, th- if I could throw myself out the window, I could, <laughs> but it's only you a could. foot, and I, <laughs> yeah. I'd sprain oh, my ankle. <laughs> it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. If it's not going to be life no. no. No, so for everybody who's been having like a day from hell or a week from hell, I, or are dealing with miscommunications, um, you know, it, it's just not been pleasant. You know, actually today I went to the Verizon store and I got my phone fixed because it was like all screwed up. I couldn't get to my Facebook. I couldn't get to certain things. And then I went to this young gentleman who was working at the Verizon store and thank God he was able just to boom, 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 do his it's thing. So- and I said, oh my God, I said, you fixed it. I go, what did you do? He goes, he's laughing. He goes, I don't even know. I just pushed the few buttons it. here or there. I believe it. <laughs> and, and he says, I just played with it for a little while. And he undid what I needed for him to get done. And I was able to actually return messages of people who were sending me messages via Facebook um, over the last few days or a week or whatever. You too. And I feel bad. Uh, For the last two weeks, I've been getting random phone calls. Not when I'm supposed to receive them, but days later. Messages, phone calls. Uh, Let's say you called me now. I I won't get the telephone call or even that the number to come up on the phone for two days and people are yelling and screaming at me. Why aren't you returning my calls? I'm not getting them. Okay. You want to know something? Thank God this week has been pretty good for me as well, far as, God, God bless uh, as, far as getting calls and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm very blessed and I feel very happy. Um, this week's topic is about just because there are certain people who go to church or go to temple, uh, literally religiously <laughs> you know <laughs> once a week uh once every other week or they all always say they pray to god and stuff and usually the people who preach god the most are the ones you have to watch out for the most that's the truth guys and you want to know something anybody who uses god in the name of their business i don't trust them right. i don't like that you know there was a fellow who was one time trying to sell me uh some kind of literal uh, yeah um rights to a piece of land with oil on it and whatnot. And uh, this is when I was young. I was about 24, 25 years old. And my wife and I at the time, um, we had, you know, we had a decent amount of money saved. And so he was trying to get us to, you know, uh, $5,000 for an investment. And then as soon, 
you know, and, and it sounded good. And I was just about to do it. And he says, all right, I'm going to have a FedEx sent to you tomorrow. You can put it in there. And just uh, I said, all right, you know, sounds good. And he was telling me uh, whatever sounded really good. At the very end, he goes, all right, sir, God bless you. And may God take care of you. And thank you very much. As soon as he said that, turned me off. Right. It was a sign yep. to me, and I didn't do it. Good. And I know that I would have pissed away $5,000. Wow. Stuff, so. Well, I want to tell you guys, preachers, rabbis, ministers, the men, men of the cloth, let's face it, they're human beings just like we are. They don't have a direct pipeline any more or less than we have. Okay, when God came down, he didn't say, oh, okay, I'm going to build myself this amazing temple and I'm going to make sure that everybody congregates there so that they could speak my name and pray my prayers so that they can go to heaven. And what is there, a bell at the front gate of heaven? Uh, let me look up your chart. Mm, Sky, hmm. you did not go to church on August 13th, 1964. <laughs> Okay, sorry, you're going to help. Bye. And there's a but trap that's, door. But the thing is, is that the churches and temples, they make you feel like that if you don't go according right. to their word or to what they believe in, they make you feel guilty. And a lot of times when people, because I've heard this thousands of times, literally, when people go to church and the preacher is preaching, whatever it is they're preaching, it doesn't feel right in their heart. You're right. You know, and, you know, and, and I feel really sorry for people like yesterday. Who put so much stock into that. Listen, how could God, now, just think about what they preach to you. God is unconditional love, correct? No matter Pure what. Pure unconditional love. Pure unconditional love. So what do you mean to tell me? He's only unconditional love when he feels like it. Because you miss church or temple, he's going to say, I'm sorry. I love you unconditionally, but you have to go suffer for the rest of eternity in hell and burn and, and have anguish and never see the light of day again. Come on. That's so contradictive. You know, it, it is very important to, uh, you know, honor thy mother and father. Of course. But when your mother and father are being very... Not nice people, I'll just say, you know, whether it be they're uh, alcoholics, druggies, uh, they're very mean, they have major bipolar issues, they're very selfish, they're promiscuous. It's like, how do you look up to someone, even though they gave you help, you know, give you life to come here, but how do you look up to somebody who has been so demonstrative? Uh, no. So, so what's the so, word? Um, I'm looking at? You're looking for the word um, controlling. Controlling me, whatever. Using but their if, financial or their using something, a tactic against you to make sure that you do what they want. Yeah, and and you know, it's like you're trying to look up to somebody who you really want to respect, but like, how do you deal with somebody who is not living life with integrity? And it also could be your priest and your minister and your rabbis. And it's like, face it, you know, with the priests and stuff, you know, you always hear a lot of stuff as far as what they've done with the little kids. You hear a lot of stuff with the very religious um, uh, Jewish people uh, and how they, you know, manipulate politics and, and the monies. I'm not saying they're all like that. They're not. There's lots and lots of beautiful people who are churchgoers, who do go to temple, who do you know, uh, do it from their heart. Do it from their heart, and they're really, really good people. I but know lots of other people. Not just right. on Sunday. But it's a way of life, right? Mm -hmm. It's a regular, right. daily basis thing, and you know that's how I, that's how I grew up with with values like that, and uh, you know, always treating people with respect and kindness, and doing the best you can, and putting your best foot forward. And while you're taking care of everybody else, it's so 100% okay to take care of yourself. And, and I was saying this to one girl yesterday in a reading. And so when I said, you have to put your, make yourself number one and you have to, while you're taking care of everyone, you've got to feed yourself plenty, whether it be monetarily, whether it be with self-love. With And she goes to me, she says, well, I, I was raised to believe that that's too selfish. That's being very selfish. And I said, well, that is being selfish, but with good cause. It's, self, it's called self-love. <laughs> not, not like a calling your, not being a selfish bitch. But you're being, you know, selfish in self-love, which is very healthy. But God wants you to love yourself, too. 100%. Because he's so important to him. 
So he doesn't want you to live in poverty if you don't have to. He doesn't want you to be ill if you don't have to. He doesn't want to take away from you so that you can't have and you have to overlook people with your tongue hanging out and saying, well, you know, I'm making a a vow of, of poverty or chastity or I'm making a vow of you know, not not allowing a myself. Of, yes, a lack, a lack of, everything. of everything. Everything or anything. That's not what he's in no, all about. No, no, this is self-inflicted. Yeah. This is not the way of life. This is not the way of God. This is self-inflicted, or this is stuff that was told to you by self-limited beliefs from other people, whether it be your priest or rabbi or a minister, or whether it be your parents. It's just people who don't have a very good outlook on life. And so therefore they implement these lower way of thinking, uh, these thoughts, these lower way of thoughts upon you or upon their other friends. And it's like, I just, I don't know. I just don't buy into it. And um, I find my life on the most part filled with serenity. And, and I live, and I live, you know, my life according to those standards. And if everyone lived like Artie Hoffman, the world would be a better place, baby. All right. <laughs> All right, we got to go to a commercial break. I'll leave it there. All right, stick around, everyone. We're going to be right back right after this commercial break. Would you like to experience life-transforming adventures in personal expansion and world service? If you do, tune in to learn about magical innate abilities that you can develop and use to make your dreams come true. Joy Elaine is author of The Joy Chronicles, and she's inviting you and millions of others to join her in working with galactic masters, angels, and the Ashtar Command as they assist humanity and planet Earth to achieve their ultimate destination of ascension. For more information about this upcoming event and broadcast, visit joyelaine.com. That's joy, E-L-A-I-N-E, dot com. Wow. Hey, everyone. Welcome. Uh, welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. I'm telling you, i got to pinch myself some days because when each of us gets called to do something that we so not thought was in our real house to do for a purpose that's so much greater than us, we get to show up and shine. If you would like to show up and shine on the Dr. Pat Show as a co-host or sponsor, send us an email to inspire at the com. Artie Hoffman is the hottest psychic with the warmest heart and the host of the hit show Angels and Answers. A renowned psychic, medium, spiritual life coach, and an entertaining motivational speaker, Artie has helped over 15,000 people with his amazing intuitive gifts, his passion, and his humor. Call 877-ANGEL-02 to schedule a personal reading or to have your own psychic Artie party. That's 877-ANGEL-02. And visit ArtieHoffman.com and Angels and Answers on Facebook. Hey, everyone, this is Dr. Pat. I am so thrilled. I've had the honor of working with Leslie Fontaine for the past year or so. And what she has created in her hit program, Sheer Alchemy, transcends what most of us get to listen to or hear in any point in time in our lives. But beyond that, Leslie is working with people all over the world, and she has created something phenomenal based on the feedback and input from the Archangels, from the Ascended Masters, from the light beings, and most importantly, from each and every one of you. So if you want to change your life, if you're ready to step into your own version of Sheer Alchemy, please give Leslie a call at 678-665-3366. And why? Because this is what you're going to be prepared to do. Be amazed and on your part, connect with the Ascended Masters that are there to help you custom make the life that you are meant to live. 
Sky Siegel co-hosts one of today's most popular psychic shows, Angels and Answers, with Artie Hoffman as she communicates healing messages from the spirit world. These messages can be astounding, enlightening, and life-changing. Born with the God-given talent of inner guidance and the amazing ability to heal, Sky has healed thousands of people. Schedule a reading with Sky now. Call 908-500-1474 and visit skyofangels.com. 1230 WBLQ. All right, welcome back, everybody. You're with Artie and Sky, and we are the dynamic duo. Da, da, da. Um, let's see. Hey, Bri, what? Uh, let's see. Do we have the number there? Can you see the yes, number? Yes, my love. And if you'd what like is it, to get one eight hundred, all done. Yeah, if you want to, if, if you want to get wanna, a reading from Sky and I. All right, if you want to get a reading from Sky, her number is one nine zero eight five hundred one four seven four. Yeah, that's for a private reading. I'm just talking yes. about the radio show. Now, if you want to come and give us a little shout right now, you'll get a little mini reading, and you want to call the studio. The number is eight hundred nine three zero two eight one nine. And if you'd like an amazing reading with Artie Hoffman. The legend. The number is 877-ANGEL-02. That's angels. Angel. Angel-02. Angel 877-ANGEL-02. Zero. Zero two. Two. Yes. So, you know, don't be afraid. It's just, you know, the rest of America will listen to your reading. That's all. Yeah. You know, we, you know it would be like Jerry Springer. I, I don't so understand that. I oh, don't that's understand. so ridiculous. Uh, you know, with with uh, Maury Povich, I mean, he went south. I mean, he was yeah. once an, an amazing host. I and then know. he went that way, like Jerry Springer, and it was god awful. You know, they get they get extra money for hitting each other, yeah, or, or bearing bosoms, or things that's, like that. That's yeah, terrible. To kill us? Yeah, to hit your. I can't stand like I can't stand watching TV shows like Jerry Springer, oh, Maury Povich. I can't stand courtroom shows. Mm-hmm. I don't like anything with drama. I don't like watching the Kardashians. Oh, I mean, I bad energy. I'm so hard. Yeah, um, you know, watching other people have a life. Mm. I, I don't get it. I, I don't understand. I can understand, like, you know, there was a show with the, the little people. Yeah, they're adorable. You know, they're adorable, right? And you know, their energy is great. Yeah, and. Yeah. You know, their energy is great and, you know, they're they're really quaint people. And, you know, you see how little people and, and I find that to be interesting. So, you know, if you're dealing with people who have unique talent or have unique circumstances, but, you know, not somebody who's being catty with one another. It's like, come on, get a life. You got to sit there and watch other people. Exactly. You know what it is? I, I, I don't get it. I, I'm sorry. You. I don't get it. It's the, those people <clears throat> that need to watch somebody else live. And have I, a dra- it's, it's drama. It's, it's just, not only it's drama. drama. It's when you don't have a life. You need to. It's like you're co-mingling with someone else. It's like you're sitting in the living room or sitting in the bedroom watching television and you're watching somebody's life go by. Yeah, they're and, and every they're extremely day, and judgmental. Not. They're extremely judgmental. Yeah. They're talking bad about one another constantly. Correct. It's just really, really And bad. you're in the thick of that. So you're drawing all of that negativity that they're really living. You're naturally living it too because you're getting all those emotions. And I don't care if you even set your mind to, oh, it's just a show. You're still getting infected with those low energy, the low quality of energy. Which is the same thing as the news. Yes. Oh, you know what? The news, I call it a live horror show. It is. And they are so full of SH. And I'll tell you what, they dramatize the littlest, tiniest. Thing. Remember when we were supposed to have this tremendous tropical storm and everybody's buying up water and bread and everything in the yeah, store? Get the economy going. So I said to my family, I says, you know what? You're all losing your minds. Who's putting tapes on window? Who's doing this? Who's doing that? Lowering the pool water. I says, we're not going to get anything. And lo and behold, we got nothing. Yeah, along the coast, didn't they get hit a little bit? Not in our area. No. Well, we have a little bit of a rain. We had more rainstorm during uh, regular, I know. a regular sat- rain during yeah. a, a Saturday, Saturday afternoon rain. Right, right. A right. Afternoon right. Rain. right. A Saturday right. afternoon summer rain. I hear you. I hear you. And they were blasting it all over. So, you know, I the media to me is you can't take them seriously. You just can't. They overreact. They over-dramatize. Even in these things where people do bad things, yes, they've done bad things, but they make it even worse. 
Yeah. They make it so much worse. Yeah, they dramatize everything. Oh my god! And then that's why a lot of people are walking around depressed mm -hmm. and walking around in fear. And then they show you how to make pipe bombs. And then they I show know. you. How, is that and then they show you how people manipulate the stores and how ah. they how they shoplift and how they do this. Like so they're literally teaching, teaching the the public right, the all these things or or what internet to go on and oh they went on here and they went on this right. and this. And you're teaching all these other morons Is on how to do it. Unbelievable. You know, and you're and you're glamorizing all this negativity and it's it's horrific. Exactly. And you know what I have to laugh? Fox, I believe, is for the Republicans, and I think it's NBC is for the Democrats. Really? Yes. I don't, see, I so don't even know. If, yeah, and I only know that because of Richie. But anyway, if you go if you turn your television to the news and you're watching Fox, you're gonna hear Democrat bashing. If you turn into NBC, you're going to hear Republican bashing. Really? Yes. Wow. Yes. And it's hysterical. Yeah, I'm not Republican or Democrat. It's just, who, what are you, you going to do? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like, not, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If there was somebody, right, if there was somebody who could run on a spiritual ballot, <laughs> wouldn't I'll, that be interesting? I'll take Michael, Archangel Michael, please. That's right. <laughs> You know, and I'll tell you, they, they, I'm sure they would be crucified also. You better believe it. They wouldn't even be good enough in this in this reality of a life that we live. It's terrible, folks. You know, I I want to, regardless of anything we say, the United States is still the best country, and I still have such faith in her, and I have faith in the people because I know that the United States of America is a superpower, and we are still the best country in the world. I Regardless of what Obama did to exactly. us. Exactly. We're, still... we're bigger than Obama. Yeah. You know, guys, we're really bigger than Obama, and this too shall pass. But I feel as though we really have to come down to reality. You know what I feel like we have to come to? A commercial. A commercial. <laughs> That's what I feel. I'm just feeling this so passionately. Ooh, you're such a good sign. Okay. All, All right, right stick around. We're going to be right back right after this commercial break. <laughs> Tune in to Lucid Planet Radio with Dr. Kelly Neff. This hit show will illuminate your senses and empower you beyond your daily stressors and hardships. Renowned psychologist and author Dr. Kelly will captivate you with far-reaching topics and amazing guests as you wake to the greatest version of yourself. Learn to tap into your intuitions, think critically about our world, heal emotional and psychological wounds, and follow your passions to live your dreams. The Lucid Planet. Welcome home. Visit lucidplanetradio.com for more information. It's that time of the year again. The Woman of Wisdom Fall Harvest Festival is right around the corner. Join us on October 1st from 10.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. at North Seattle Community College Conference Center. Admission is free. Festivities include arts and crafts, energy healers, intuitive readers, delicious food, and more. Don't miss this fun-filled event. For more information, visit womanofwisdom.org. That is womanofwisdom.org. And we'll see you there. Wow. Hey, everyone. Welcome. Uh, welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. I'm telling you, i got to pinch myself some days because when each of us gets called to do something that we so not thought was in our real house to do for a purpose that's so much greater than us, we get to show up and shine. If you would like to show up and shine on the Dr. Pat Show as a co-host or sponsor, send us an email to inspire at the com. Artie Hoffman is the hottest psychic with the warmest heart and the host of the hit show Angels and Answers. A renowned psychic, medium, spiritual life coach, and an entertaining motivational speaker, Artie has helped over 15,000 people with his amazing intuitive gifts, his passion, and his humor. Call 877-ANGEL-02 to schedule a personal reading or to have your own psychic Artie party. That's 877-ANGEL-02. And visit ArtieHoffman.com and Angels and Answers on Facebook. Hey everyone, this is Dr. Pat. I am so thrilled. I've had the honor of working with Leslie Fontaine for the past year or so. And what she has created in her hit program, Sheer Alchemy, transcends what most of us get to listen to or hear in any point in time in our lives. But beyond that, Leslie is working with people all over the world, and she has created something phenomenal based on the feedback and input from the Archangels, from the Ascended Masters, from the light beings, and most importantly, from each and every one of you. So if you want to change your life, 
If you're ready to step into your own version of sheer alchemy, please give Leslie a call at 678-665-3366. And why? Because this is what you're going to be prepared to do. Be amazed and on your part, connect with the Ascended Masters that are there to help you custom make the life that you are meant to live. Everybody, and you are today this beautiful Thursday with Artie Huffman and Sky Thea Siegel. How do you like that name, guys? Uh, for, you, you like it? So stick <laughs> We're going to be right back after this commercial break. <laughs> Only kidding. No, no. Only kidding. You know, okay, I, want to, I want to just tell you I have never had a long name, right? So my name is Sky, three little letters. So Brian, our amazing producer. Yeah. He called me Sky Thea. Yeah. The first person in the world to ever make my name sound like really classic. Like important. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And I just love it. So all my friends now, you know, they tease, they call me Sky Thea, and I love it. Thanks, Sky. <laughs> you know something? Let me say this. I'm glad I made something up that everybody likes because you are number one and Artie's number one, too. Oh, I love you, sweetheart. You're the bomb. You are yeah, the best. we're a dead heat, number one. <laughs> we are. Hey, folks, I want to just let you guys know that we are going to be performing at the the Stress Factory on October 26th. October, October 26th. It's a Wednesday. It's a Wednesday night. And that's in New Brunswick. In New Brunswick. And we are going to give you a show that you will not be sorry you came to see. It's going to be a little bit of everything. We're going to have comedy. It's going to be, yeah, it's going to be a gonna, variety show. Yeah, we're going to have comedy. We're going to do a little comedy. We're going to do psychic. You know, psychic. We're going to do mediumship. mediumship. We're going to do it's Rocky gonna be, Horror. Yeah, Rocky Horror. It's going to be a masquerade party a masquerade. with prizes. Oh, it's going to be. It's, and there's going to be food. There's yes. going to be a buffet there and stuff. And, and it's a stress drink. factory. Listen, guys, you are going to have an amazing time. So please come and see us because we would love, love to entertain you. So just so you know, it's uh, the site for all this is and we will let you know at the end of September. We're waiting till uh, around September 24th, September 25th. The reason why we're not putting it up now, because we are in Mercury retrograde and we are not going to put anything up during Mercury retrograde. Correct. So, you know, Mercury retrograde, if people are wondering what Mercury retrograde is, it's when the stars, I'm giving you a general synopsis. Mm -hmm. It's when the stars are lined up in a certain way. And um, it's, what are you doing? It's screwing me up. Is she screwing you up? She's screwing me up. Mm. So... Just so, the, the so, so the so the stars are lined up in a certain way where everything and anything could go wrong, and uh, it's going to go up until September twenty second. And so you don't buy uh, any major appliances, you don't buy new cars, no you don't signing. buy a house, you don't sign contracts, right, and stuff like that. Um, you don't start new relationships, you don't start a new job, you don't start. It's just not a good time to no. to start new things because things will not get end, screwed up. It will get screwed up and things won't work out in your favor. That's Mercury retrograde. So Google Mercury retrograde. It happens a few times a year, about maybe four times a year, Ugh. and it happens at different times of the year, and uh, it affects people in different ways. Uh, mood swings happen, miscommunications happen. Correct. Um, you know, you made a lot of wrong turns. Uh, just everything a lot gets of mis- fouled up. Everything gets fouled up with Mercury retrograde. So. so watch out for it and be careful not to sign any legal documents. That's especially because you will be sorry. <laughs> yeah. So, you yeah, know, yeah, just take it in stride, you know? Yeah. But in any case, but we were talking originally, and we only have a few minutes, so we go to break. But I, still, yeah. um, you know, it's what's in your heart. You know, as far as going to church, as far as going to temple, it's who you are by nature. It's by being a good person and being a good mensch. Um, a mensch means a good person in Yiddish. So, but being a good person is is what what's most important. I mean, and consistency, and consistency, right? To be consistent at it. When you go to church and you go to temple. That is for you to bear your soul to God and the universe um, and and to let him know or her, however you want to refer to God, uh, but to let him know that, you know, you you want your heart and soul to be cleansed. You need the universe's help to help you get through some hard times. You want to make sure that your family and friends here on earth and they're in heaven are okay. 
And when you ask for God's help from your heart with the best of intentions, you are going to get some kind of assistance. And a lot of times, you know, you're thinking like a miracle, you're hopefully a miracle is going to happen. But a lot of times a person, a real life person will just come to you and just do the nicest thing for you at a left field. Accept it. And accept it. Yeah, accept don't it. push it away. Because a lot of people ask help from God or they yeah. complain about how their life stinks and or how situations stink. Right. And then all of a sudden they get help or they get money or they get assistance and they go, no, thank you. Right. Or they end up giving it away or they right. say something stupid like, oh, they need it more than me. <laughs> you are so screwed up yeah. if you keep saying that because God has plenty of everything for everybody. And you just asked him right that moment, or you just asked him that day for, for help. And when he sends you to help, you're turning it away. What's wrong with you people? What's wrong with me? It's right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, I mean, you know, God, of course, you're not going to have a Jaguar fall into your living room if you want money or a new car. It's not going to happen. But I will guarantee you this. If you pray long enough and with your heart and your heart felt and sincere and consistent. And through your positive actions. And through positive actions, somebody will be there to assist you. Another human being will be there to assist you. And you will get signs. And you know, the signs are not a sledgehammer being whacked across the head. These are subtleties. And the reason they're subtleties is because our creator, our Holy Spirit, wants you to pay attention to the very least of everything. I'm, I'm going to tell you a beautiful minor miracle because we're going to be going to uh, a commercial break. Well, I, I, I you have a time right now. I have, I have a minor miracle that I'm going to share with all of you uh, when we get back from a commercial break. And I was talking to my mother and I asked her for a sign. So stick around, everybody, because we're going to be right back right after this commercial break. The Psychic Radio Show with Claire Florence, Artie Hoffman, and Sky Siegel every Thursday for a two hour show, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Transformation Talk Radio. Artie and Sky deliver spiritual and motivational messages with passion and a sense of humor. Call in 800 930 2819 for live and on air readings. Visit ArtieHoffman.com and SkyOfAngels.com. Tune in to Lucid Planet Radio with Dr. Kelly Neff. This hit show will illuminate your senses and empower you beyond your daily stressors and hardships. Renowned psychologist and author Dr. Kelly will captivate you with far-reaching topics and amazing guests as you wake to the greatest version of yourself. Learn to tap into your intuitions, think critically about our world, heal emotional and psychological wounds, and follow your passions to live your dreams. The Lucid Planet. Welcome home. Visit lucidplanetradio.com for more information. Sky Siegel co-hosts one of today's most popular psychic shows, Angels and Answers, with Artie Hoffman as she communicates healing messages from the spirit world. These messages can be astounding, enlightening, and life-changing. Born with the God-given talent of inner guidance and the amazing ability to heal, Sky has healed thousands of people. Schedule a reading with Sky now. Call 908-500-1474 and visit skyofangels.com. Beyond being this amazing neurologist, inventor, author, Dr. Dan Cohen has been called to look at technology and look at personal and spiritual development and merge these together. This technology uses the healing and psycho-spiritual effects of synchronized sounds, vibrations, electromagnetic fields, and how that interacts with us in our nervous system in what we're calling the Soltec Chair. The Soltec Lounge induces profound levels of relaxation that transition over time into deep meditative states. The synchronized sound vibration and magnetic field induce these states. The subject doesn't have to work at it. To learn more, go to soltechwellbeing.com. That's S-O-L-T-E-C, well-being. 
It's that time of the year again. The Woman of Wisdom Fall Harvest Festival is right around the corner. Join us on October 1st from 10.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. at North Seattle Community College Conference Center. Admission is free. Festivities include arts and crafts, energy healers, intuitive readers, delicious food, and more. Don't miss this fun-filled event. For more information, visit womanofwisdom.org. That is womanofwisdom.org. And we'll see you there. Artie Hoffman is the hottest psychic with the warmest heart and the host of the hit show Angels and Answers. A renowned psychic, medium, spiritual life coach, and an entertaining motivational speaker, Artie has helped over 15,000 people with his amazing intuitive gifts, his passion, and his humor. Call 877-ANGEL-02 to schedule a personal reading or to have your own psychic Artie party. That's 877-ANGEL-02. And visit ArtieHoffman.com and Angels and Answers on Facebook. 1230 WBLQ. Even if you can't find heaven, 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 heaven. Yeah, I'm gonna stand by you. How beautiful is that? Oh, now that's, I love it. Thanks for playing that, Brian. That so, was amazing. So that song represents pure unconditional love. And, you know, nothing could ever... We have a cooler. Oh. And we don't have much time. Oh, wait. That's... So let me just explain. So my miracle was when oh. I was on the beach yesterday and I was lying on the blanket, uh, just as I was leaving, I said to my mother, who passed away a few years ago, I said, Mom, I said, do me a favor. I said, show me a beautiful miracle knowing that you're around. And so I, when I went to lift up my blanket, there was a big, beautiful white feather. Isn't that beautiful? Underneath oh, the blanket mother. that wasn't there when I laid down the blanket because I would have noticed the white feather. Yes. But it was just on sand. And I fell asleep, you know, when I went, when I was lying on the blanket. And then when I woke up and it was time for me to go and I pull off the blanket from the sand and this beautiful white feather was right in the center oh, of the blanket. Like, in a, like it was like around the entry you. and it was really, really beautiful. And I just said, oh, cool. Thanks, mom. That so, so that was cool. really, really nice. I love when they do that to us. I love it. It is so amazing. So who do we got? We have Lori from Brewer, Maine. Hi. Hey, Lori. Hi. Hi, this I'm is sorry. Lori. I called her a couple of weeks ago, maybe perhaps a month ago, and it was at the last end of the show, so I wasn't able to ask the questions that I had about um, I do um, crystal therapy and angel therapy, and I was just wondering if you had anything you could tell in my life that I could Can you just with. speak up a little bit, sweetheart? Yeah, because you sound muffled. Yes. Oh, I do? Yeah, we can't understand you. Okay. Um, yes, I was just wondering if you could tell me how I could connect with my angels more, my spirit guides, if I'm doing the oh, right absolutely. thing or not. If you could tell that. I'll give you two ways that you can connect really closely. <clears throat> One is through meditation. Mm -hmm. The more you meditate and uh, cl clear your mind and allow them to come through, you'll notice they will come through to you. And another way that okay. you're going to connect with your angels is very simple and it's very playful. What you'll do is okay. when you have to go get a parking spot and you, you know it's absolutely bizarre, you're never going to get this parking spot. I want you to call in your angels and ask them for a spot. And I guarantee you, you're going to get a close spot really quickly. Okay, so this way you know that you're connecting. It's just, it's just like a, a little thought? tool, um, you know, but what I do when I do that, like on a busy day, like on a weekend, and I'm going to the beach, before I get to the beach, before I, I'm like maybe a half hour, 20 minutes away, whatever, I call upon my angels. I said, thank you for opening up a close parking spot just for me, ASAP. Yep, yeah. I've tried that, yep. Did it work for you? Yep. Yes, it did. Isn't it amazing? And sometimes I want you to yeah, meditate. Sometimes when I'm sleeping, I don't know if they come to me. I dream about them. Beautiful. I, I want dream, you to meditate. I, I feel made a cloud. Though, and... I feel as though you're on the brink of something, uh -huh. <laughs> and I feel as okay. though that you need to meditate more. Like you might be doing it maybe once or twice a week, but you're not consistent. Yep, that's right. Yeah. I feel. I feel like you need to be a little bit more consistent and I want you to just 15 minutes. It doesn't have to be a whole hour, 10, 15 minutes to just wipe your minds clear and do a beautiful meditation. You can even do a guided meditation. 
and go ahead and start connecting. And then they will connect back with you. They're going to send you things. They're going to do things for you. But be very careful to watch. They're very subtle. So don't miss. Do you know what I mean? Uh Uh-huh. Also, there's very good, uh, if you go to uh, any kind of an angel store or a spiritual shop where they sell meditation CDs, then some of them will literally guide you. Um, you know, and if you go to Amazon, you know, there's these uh, CDs. I don't know it specifically, but I know they're out there and they will guide yeah, you so some. that you can connect to your spirit guides and yes. to your angels. Also, I find Doreen that. Doreen Virtue, if I might interrupt. Okay. Doreen Virtue puts out a CD that you can connect mm-hmm. to your angels. She also puts out a deck of cards. They're not, you know, playing cards. They're spiritual cards <clears throat> and they're called angel cards. And when you oh. get them. If you pray over them and you put good intentions in them, they will answer some of your questions for you. Burn a white okay. candle. Burn a white candle when you want to connect to your angels and write a little okay. note and put it underneath. It's like a seven day candle and put your note underneath the candle to help open up your senses to be more intuitive, uh, to be more receiving. It could be for love. It could be prosperity. But just put it underneath there. And once you put it out there, you don't have to be obsessed with it by constantly putting it out there. You don't have to. Once you put the word out there, then you're fine. So right now we have to we have to go it because was nice our show talking is talking you, sweetie. Our show's running up. Yep. We're so it's a pleasure. Thinking. I know it goes by Bye. really fast. Very very super fast. Super fast. All right, everybody. From my mouth to God's ears, may God bless all of you with lots of love, health, prosperity, happiness, and happiness. Absolutely, and consistency within each part of your lives. So keep on communicating to God and the angels. They do hear you, and Absolutely. always keep the faith. And until next week, everybody. Bye, everyone. We love you. You've been listening to Angels and Answers Psychic Radio Show with clairvoyants Artie Hoffman and Sky Siegel. Tune in every Thursday for this great two-hour show at 2 p.m. Pacific and 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And remember to call in at 800-930-2819 to get answers from your guardian angels and loved ones. Artie and Sky have helped thousands of people with remarkable accuracy as they tune in, use their intuitive gifts and inner guidance, and communicate with people's angels and loved ones who have passed. On. To schedule your session, call Artie at 877-ANGEL-02 and visit ArtieHoffman.com and call Sky at 908-500-1474 and visit SkyOfAngels.com for personal or group readings. And tune in next week for this fabulous hit show.